Tua or the field, if you will. We got seven quarterbacks. Uh, Tua or who would I rather have? I, well, let's put some parameters on it. Let's go. Let's go for the next three years. Three years. I three think years. three years is fair. Like immediate. Yes. Who do you want? Okay. Let's do it. Go ahead. Give. Him. Okay. <clears throat> so, would you take Tua or Dak Prescott? I went back and forth on this one because I think Dak is a a more cons- a slightly more consistent player. I have a larger body of work with Dak, so I know what I'm getting more so uh, than I do with Tua. But I would go Tua. I think right now he's a, well, right now he's a cheaper quarterback. Once he signs the a, a contract extension, who knows if he's going to be a cheaper quarterback? But I think there's a real possibility Dak on this next contract is going to be making north of sixty million dollars a year, uh, and I think it's reasonable to ask or to have Tua sign a contract that's less than fifty million dollars. Yeah. I think it's reason I think you could reasonably get Tua for forty million dollars, somewhere around the Daniel Jones Kirk Cousins deal. Mm-hmm. And if it was the choice between sixty million for Dak or forty two for Tua, I think I would go Tua. Okay. Yeah, and that's what I was gonna mention while we were coming into this too. Uh contracts matter in this. We are taking I, everything that matters. into account. Everything matters. Absolutely. Okay, let's go Tua or Russell Wilson. I would also go Tua. I think right now from a pure talent standpoint he's a better quarterback and then well, I guess right now the contract just kind of doesn't matter because Denver's paying all that dead cap money, so the Steelers are only paying them like what one point two million dollars. Yeah, so it's a steal. Um, but it's just that one year that that the Steelers have him under contract. So in theory, if somebody wanted to acquire him for the next two years of this hypothetical situation, you'd have to sign him to an, sign him to a contract, which he'll probably want a ton of money. Um, so I would go to. I think he's a better quarterback, and in the long run, a cheaper, you know. A better asset to have. Yeah, a better option. A lot younger, too. Okay, we'll go Tua or Jared Goff. I'd go Jared Goff. I think Jared Goff's a much better much better player. He's a bigger, stronger athlete. Uh, Tua's had injury concerns, high school, college, and now the pros. So, yeah, I, J- Jared Goff. He's the number one overall pick for a reason. Dude can sling it. Uh, we talked about him. We, we gave him all his flowers last week, so we won't get into it too much. But, yeah, go. I'd go Goff. I know you were excited to talk about him, so I just yeah. wanted to kind of give, Big you, Jared Goff give you your moment there. Huge Jared Goff guy. There you go. Uh, I'm actually, the only name I, we didn't put on here that I would have a real toss-up on, and people don't like him either, is Derek Carr. I thought you were going to say Gardner Minshew. I mean, <laughs> Gardner's making, what, $12.5 million? Yeah. A little honorable mention there. Um, okay, let's get back on track here. We're going to go to uh, or Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is a no-brainer for me. I do worry a little bit with the Achilles. He is 36, but I don't view. I don't think Kirk is going to fall off a cliff in the next three years. Mm-hmm. I think he's just still going to be a very consistent, um, above-average quarterback. He's not great. He's a he's a really good above-average quarterback. Um, I do think they're in the same tier. This one to me was pretty close because of the injury concerns, the salary, um, the age of Kirk. Uh, but I would still go Kirk for the next three years. Yeah. Yeah. I if was it was say- like five years, I'd probably go Tua. Three years, I would go Kirk. Yeah. I would say in the immediate, I would Kirk is definitely the better option. He has way more experience, wealth of knowledge, and I would just say I feel safer when he has the football. Like I, I think I always, that's fair. I, I always judge my quarterbacks on how do they make how do they make me feel. When they have possession of the football and they're in the pocket, and I haven't seen and you him prefer yet. Kirk. I prefer Kirk. Okay, absolutely. Now the only the only way I could see this backfiring. Now, granted, I don't think anybody will dig into the archives, but if Atlanta moves off Kirk from Michael Penix after like a year, and he lands in some sort of like bridge role, and it's not a very good team, and then it's eh, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I think from a pure talent standpoint, Kirk's a better. Like if Kirk ended up in Tennessee, replacing a failed Will Levis. Yeah, it's not going to go well. No. Yeah. But on the flip side, if I, you know, I don't know. The Raiders make a change. They have good offensive pieces. They know, say, let's bring in Vegas. Yeah. And it's a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go Tua or Kyler Murray. See, now you would disagree. I would go Kyler all day. They're both small. I would go Tua. That's it. That's absolute blasphemy. They're both small. right? Why would I not take the guy that can at least move? Tua is a statue, and he's 5'8". Right? So I would take Kyler. Yes, I know he's small, but he moves around a ton. He is dynamic. He has traits that you can't find elsewhere. Tua doesn't have anything that you can't find in the fourth round of the next NFL draft. You're telling me, what does Tua do better than Spencer Rattler from a physical standpoint? Maybe he accuracy. He has a lot more wins. Well, yeah, of course, yeah. I'm not saying he's. I'm not saying Spencer Rattler is a better quarterback. My point being is that Kyler is at least otherworldly at something. Tua to me is not, and I, I think Kyler. I think Kyler's a better player. That's a fair argument. I just don't like the fact that Kyler's like, what, four foot eleven? Is that what he is now? Five okay, one. I, did, he, did he grow? You know what? Now we have to find the. Comparison. Did he grow? I, I think he how, grew this. How tall do you think Tua is? 
I bet he's five nine, five ten. We're gonna find out, aren't we? Okay, Tua. It didn't give me. Oh, six one. Okay, Tua oh, six one. That's a tall guy. So what's Kyler? Kyler's probably what five eleven. Five ten. Five ten. Yeah. Okay, three inches. It's fine. I can live with that. It's a lot. Okay. It's like enough inches, right? <laughs> it's, it's like enough. All right, give me the next one. <laughs> okay. Let's go Tua or Trevor Lawrence. It's like a ton. <laughs> it's like a massive difference. I'd go Trevor. Yeah, Trevor's on top of big. Trevor's a big, strong quarterback. Uh, what, 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six. Um, rocket arm. He can move. No, he's not Kyler with the football. He's not Lamar. Uh, but he can move, get outside the pocket. He's an accurate quarterback. He has Doug Peterson, which... I think he's a really good coach. Not great, but he's a really good coach. They have good offensive pieces. Um, so, yeah, I would I would go Trevor Lawrence. Okay. We're going to go Tua or Anthony Richardson. This is one of my – and this will – maybe for this year it may uh, turn out wrong. But I would go Tua. And I'm going to pivot to a less Tua-centric conversation and more into an Anthony Richardson-centric conversation. I, I, I'm going to predict he's going to be a bust. I don't see it. I don't. I don't see the consistent accuracy. I don't see the consistent footwork. Um, I, I Nothing he does to me is repeatable. Yeah. Um, I, I think he relies too much on his ability to run the football, and clearly that was not the right choice this past year because he was banged up. Um, I, I can't see him staying healthy for full seasons or at least even giving me 15 games a season. I, I can't see him getting re-signed after his rookie contract. I, I think he is an absolute bust. I would go Tua. It's just just because you have the same frame as Josh Allen does not mean you can run like Josh Allen, okay? Like, let, let's tap the brakes a little bit there. Um, just because you were 6'4", like 230, yeah. does not mean that you can play that way. You still have to play good, sound, fundamental football, which Josh Allen does. The only pause I would have is because Anthony Richardson has Shane Steichen, who's a, a really, really good coach, a quarterback genius. Yeah. Um, so that, you know, maybe but, he ends up succeeding. I think he's going to be a boss. Mike though. McDaniel is great, too. No, 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 I agree. I agree. I'm talking. I'm not even in the comparison sense. I'm just talking overall for my big prediction that he's going to be a bust. Okay. There you go. So do you want to – I'll go back. Do you have them on the list? You I, do. Go back to them? I do. I okay. do. Uh, I would take Tua over Dak, Tua over Russ – I would take Jared Goff over Tua. I would take Kirk Cousins, Kyler Murray, and Trevor Lawrence all over Tua. Uh, and then I would take Tua over Anthony Richardson. I think he's a more consistent player and more accurate quarterback. Perfect. At the end of the day, you know I'm big on you got to win from the pocket. Mm-hmm. Hence the Jared Goff rant from last week. Yeah. But anyway, let's 